And with all of this on the table, of course, joining us now to talk about this legislative session, UCF history professor, New Six political expert, Dr. Jim Clark. Good morning. Good morning. Glad to have you back. You're here a lot, especially <laughs> now. We're looking at several issues this session and plenty of controversy, too. Yeah, this is uh, an amazing thing. You cannot turn on the TV or pick up a newspaper without reading about Ron DeSantis. He, uh, whether it was Saturday Night Live or Stephen Colbert or Face the Nation, he is everywhere. Florida uh, is the talk of the town. It Ooh. is, and this legislative session is going to be covered by all the national media, which has never happened before, and it's just going to, to take center stage for the next couple of months with all these controversial issues that are coming up. Does that seem orchestrated to you? Yes, I think it's all part of uh, his rollout for his presidential campaign. Uh, as you mentioned, Julie, he was in California promoting his book. Uh, he's, by coincidence, he's going to Iowa to oh. promote his book, <laughs> uh, side of the first uh -huh. uh, uh, primary, next February. And my guess is that he will announce for president at the end of the legislative session. Uh, he wants to rack up a lot of victories, a lot of publicity, a lot of attention, and then announce for president. And you mentioned he wants to rack up a lot of victories. With the way the state legislature is set up, it looks like that, that's going to happen as far as all of these bills and agendas. Yeah, this is unprecedented. Mm -hmm. uh, it's amazing because usually the legislature calls the tune in Florida. Mm -hmm. That's the way the Constitution kind of set it up. This year, the legislature is admitting they're there to pass his agenda. Uh, they're kind of a rubber stamp for the governor. All right, so let's start talking with school agenda. I mean, school agenda has been in, in big stories for the last couple of months. Um, what is this school voucher? What, is, what does this mean? Uh, they want to extend it. It was originally aimed at uh, poor children mm -hmm. and to give them more options. But now they want to extend it basically to anybody uh, who wants to send their children to uh, private schools. And so uh, part of this is to uh, hurt public education. Uh, it's kind of coupled with the, the Parents' Bill of Rights in schools where teachers would not have to pay union dues from their paychecks. They would have to write a separate check, and other states have found that cuts down the amount of money the teachers' union has and lessens their power in elections. And they tend to endorse Democrats. So this is kind of a political move aimed at uh, taking away power from public schools. And what could be the long-term impact of that? Or is there a long-term goal with that? Well, it, it could weaken the public school system, which obviously is uh, struggling in Florida and many places. Uh, but again, the governor's goal is to weaken the, the union representing the teachers. And we've heard a lot about the gun agenda and the being able to care, carry without a permit. That's already exists in a lot of other states, right? It does. And, mm -hmm. uh, you know, it depends on uh, your point of view. Some people think you should have to, you know, have a license or a permit or something to carry a concealed weapon. Uh, it's going to be interesting. In the past, there have been attempts to do this before and to allow students to bring guns to campus. Uh, those have not passed, but this year they may very well pass. And what is, we have to go, but what is this tension around drag shows and some of the uh, things on the agenda discussing, um, you know, age limits on those types of events? Yeah, the, uh, I very seldom run into drag queens, but... <laughs> Um, this has become a huge issue, and again, the governor has created this issue um, that most people didn't know existed, and now you've seen the, go the governor of Tennessee signing a legislation that can send drag queens to jail for six years. So other states are copying the DeSantis agenda. Mm. It is going to be a jam-packed uh, legislative session, did, that's for sure. Did you know that he was married at Disney World? I didn't. Yeah. I've seen the pictures, yes. Yes, he was married <laughs> at Disney World, and his bride wanted to be married there, and his only condition was there would be no Disney characters. So Mickey oh. Mouse did not attend his wedding. <laughs> See, this, this is why we keep it around, huh? <laughs> Thanks, Jim.